While protecting our border has become a political tug of war, some agents are protecting us from a potential invasion. No, I'm not talking about Area 51, people. But it does involve bugs. A type of beetle arrived at Port Manatee along with a vegetable shipment from Mexico. That is where we find 10 News reporter Liz Crawford. She is there for us tonight. And Liz, these insects, they could have actually caused some serious issues for our crops in the area here. You know, a tiny little bug can cause a massive problem for crops and farmers. And that's why agricultural specialists with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection can sometimes spend 16 hours straight screening shipments that come in here to Port Manatee. Now, I spoke with one of those specialists today who found pests that could have infested our crops. Because usually scarabs that are associated with bananas are a quarantine action pest in general. That's the policy on it. So as soon as I found it, I thought, oh, this will be something good. Something good to keep out of U.S. grocery stores and farms. Paula Kelly is an agricultural specialist. She found this scarab beetle in a vegetable shipment from Mexico. This was the first time this type of insect was intercepted in Florida. In Florida, we have a huge agriculture industry and we have really good conditions for a lot of pests to get in and thrive. So this is, you know, the first line of defense. This is the border for the state. Border agents intercept tens of thousands of pests nationwide every year. It's their job to detect and intercept imports that contain hidden threats, such as insects and disease. You can kind of think of them as like the immune system for the state or for, for the country. They're out there um, trying to keep us safe, trying to keep us healthy, looking for anything coming in that, that's going to potentially harm the economy and the environment or, or the health uh, of people here. Dr. Hugh Smith is an entomologist with the University of Florida. There are a lot of in dangerous or invasive, potentially invasive species around the world that we're worried about coming into Florida because it is such an important port of entry for, for shipping and tourism and what have you. Kelly and other agents find they are especially busy this time of year. Right now it's the rainy season in South and Central America. And so when we import things at this time of year, we tend to get a higher incidence of pests. And you know, it's not just all about the imports and the shipments. We have to do our part too. So if you're traveling internationally, you want to do your research about what you can and can't bring back. Actually, the specialist I spoke with today recommends the website don'tpackapest.com. She said, check it out <laughs> if you're going to be traveling internationally. That's easy to remember.